Welcome to the Fat Quarter Shop live stream. Today is October 23rd, 2019. This is our cross stitch channel, and I have a lot of cross stitch for you. Um, a lot more than I was thinking, so super excited to get started. I wanted to go over Bloomtopia one more time since we're getting so many questions. So at Fat Quarter Shop, one of the things that we're known for is really planning in advance, um, really planning things through, and it's totally different for the cross-stitch world because it's similar to what we do in the quilting world. In the quilting world, everything is planned out way in advance, unlike cross-stitch where stuff just comes on the market and it's there. So we're going to do Bloomtopia. It's going to be our charity stitch along. It's right here. I stitched it and Priscilla Blaine of The Real Housewives of Cross Stitch finished it for me. And I just wanted to let you guys know this starts next February. So I'm going to show you all the things that we have and all the pieces of it. And just know that it's going to start in February and we're going to have a sew along. So we made some cute little bags. Do, 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 super cute. Um, I'm already using a lot of them. I think I ordered six. We already have the thread pack. So we have an RFL thread pack and a DMC thread pack. And we have a needle minder, which is really great. I'm going to show you in a little bit how Cheryl, who works for us, is using it because it really, um, it doesn't just hold your needle. It can also hold your scissors. So I really like the big size. It's different than anything out there right now. So um, this is what we have so far. The fabric that I stitched on is 25 count Lugana in color pewter. We're out of it, but we will have more before the stitch along starts. But I want to give a big shout out because we're doing this. If the stitch along is going to be a free pattern, completely free. We have thread packs for people who want to make it exactly like I made mine. It goes with a quilt that we're also releasing at the same time, free pattern. We're asking for, if you stitch it, to give a $15 to make a wish. The link is below and you can give that now or later. Um, and if you want to give more, that's great. If you can only afford $5, that's great too, whatever you can give. So it's really for make a wish and giving back. And that's why we've planned so much in advance because we really want to raise $50,000 this year. Um, and I want to give a big shout out to all the people that are stitching along with me. And all of these are people that I would love for you to go check out on YouTube and watch their videos. And they're going to be stitching along and they're going to do their version. So they're going to probably take fabric from their stash and threads from their stash and kind of make it their own. So, of course, Priscilla and Chelsea of The Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. That is their YouTube channel. And the, Priscilla's blog is Pri priscillas2000.blogspot.com. I don't know what she's going to be stitching on, um, but it'll be exciting to see. We've got Christy from Java Girl Stitches. Um, I love her YouTube channel. Um, she's really cute, and I think she's the same age as me, so I like to watch her. We've got Cheryl McKinney from Tranquil Stitches, and she's from Virginia, or West Virginia. And um, so check her out. She does a lot of fun uh, collaborations with other people, and those are really fun when she does those. We've got Sherry McConnell from A Quilting Life. Now she doesn't have a floss tube because she's a quilter. She is one of the women that designed the fabric that goes along with this. So she's gonna be actually doing cross stitch with us, which is really fun. We've got Valerie from Quilting in the Barn and her live stream is awesome and she has this amazing barn. You should see it, like it's like to die for. We've got Sarah from Stitch and Mommy and she's super cute and um, I really like her stuff. It's very intricate. Um, and she gets a lot done. We've got Jan Hicks from Jan Hicks Creates. She lives in Hawaii and she's got the most soothing music. Um, and then we also have Denise from Dot Dot Goose Designs. So I would love, and Dot Dot Goose Designs is a store on Etsy. I'm not sure if she has a floss tube, but I would love for you to check them out. But those are all the things about Bloomtopia. I just wanted to go over it again. And I think it's very different because it's so far in the future. And the reason it's so far in the future is so that we can build up and, you know, really get to the $50,000 for Make-A-Wish and all the money goes directly to Make-A-Wish. And I'm happy to answer any questions um, to clear up any kind of confusion about Bloomtopia. Okay, I'll let the questions in. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. We do have a little bit of a weather report. Uh, Judy Gibbons says, Good morning from Chile, South Mississippi. 53 degrees. 
Donna Regal says, good morning from sunny, cold Michigan. And she put like a little like shivering, shivering. face. Um, Candy Curse says, happy Wednesday, everyone. Chile and Sunday in Columbus, Ohio. Um, oh, we have a question from Cynthia Connolly. She says, hello from North Carolina. Will you be carrying a larger selection of 16 count Ada? I'd love to see some of the fabric flare Ada, especially the whitewash board in 16 count. So um, Denise will get with Fabric Flare. What would be best is if you could email service at fatquartershop.com and let me know um, what are the prints you're looking for in Fabric Flare. So are you looking for white washboard or polka dots or give us a couple to start with um, so that we order the ones that you're looking for and then just tell them to email that to Denise and she will take care of ordering it. Fabric Flare takes about three weeks to get the order, so um, give us about that time. But if you email service at fatquartershop.com, we'll take care of that. All right. And Dr. Goose Design says she does have a floss tube as well, so make sure to go check her out there. Um, oh, and then Greta Carter was asking if we could do a close-up of Bloomtopia. Yes, yeah. Okay, so I don't even need to move it. Yeah, you're good. So the frame is from Hobby Lobby. The nest at the top is from Hobby Lobby, and the bow is from Joann's. And we made it, um, it's going to come out in sections. I think it's going to come out in... It's different sections. I can't remember exactly how many sections it is, but it's on the 1st and the 15th through February. So you're gonna get each part in a section, which makes it really nice because it's more like a block of the month or a stitch along, or you just do your little section every two weeks. And then that way at the end, you've got this big um, thing done that you just spend a little bit of time on each month. Um, question from Karen Amrin. She says, what cross-stitch patterns would work with the American Blue 10 count Ada cloth? Love the color. Don't know what would look nice on it. What's the vintage cloth? What color did you say? Oh. Uh, give me one sec, sorry. The American Blue 10 count Ada cloth. American Blue. Okay, so that is going to come in stock uh, in a couple weeks. And when we get it, we can put together something like we have done on previous floss tubes where we... Um, see what we think would look good with it without seeing it in person I'm not hundred percent sure but um, a lot of the a lot of the uh, little house seemed to look good on she's got some of her bigger bigger pieces and country cottage needleworks those seem to look really good on the 10 count so um, we're gonna go on and talk about Stitchtober so Stitchtober wrapped up it was our stitch along and this is my very last finish for Trick or Treat. I mean, for Stitchtober. It is called Trick or Treat by Trellis and Thyme, or Time, however you say that. Now, I'm not completely finished. I really like how it looks just like it is. I am going to definitely add the candy corns, but I'm not sure about the top and the bottom. I might add that, I might not, but if I do, I'm probably gonna do orange and white instead of black and white. But my little kitty did come out looking good on the black, so I was really happy with that. And I did make one color change. Um, Denise is gonna grab my little book so I can tell you, but right here, this is, this is more of a bright, the color is like green. And so when I pulled that, it just looked funny. So I changed that to a lighter yellow. I'm going to tell you the color number just so that you'll have it. I changed it to color 728. So the color that it was, sorry. It was 445 and I changed it to 728. So that's the only change that I made there. This is 14 count chalkboard black Ada. And um, I saved all the rest of it because it came packaged in a fat quarter piece. Um, I changed the rest for later. And I've got some more stitched over. This is by Cheryl, who works for us. Design board. Okay, so this looks better. So she bought this witch at Joann's. 
and it hangs. I'm trying to make it where it looks decent. So I'm going to try bigger design boards so that my shirt is not distracting. So there we go. So this is her witch. And each day she's doing a countdown. So this comes off. And yeah, so she's, and on this, what she told us is this, since it's metal, doesn't need a magnet. So you just put a magnet. It looks like she hot glued it. Is this sticky board or just board? I thought it was sticky board. I think it's sticky board. And so she's going to do a countdown like 31 days to Halloween, 30 days, 29 days, all that stuff. So we've got a couple of them. The pattern is Halloween Calendar by Tiny Modernist. So I'm going to show you some of the other days. They're not all the way finished. And Denise is also stitching this. This is stitched on Stormy Gray. Hers is a suggested hazy gray. Hazy gray. So she, this is a fabric from her stash. Mm -hmm. So this one's kind of cute. Can you see the two's upside down? These are so cute. This makes me want to do this. And this is a little, what did y'all say this was? A monster? Werewolf. It was a werewolf. A werewolf. That's right. I keep getting confused. Wow. So this one is Cheryl's, and it'll be all ready for next year. And then some other things that Cheryl worked on. Okay, y'all, this is amazing. Y'all are going to die when y'all see this. This is so cute. So, this is Quaker Moon by Bent Creek, and the way this pattern comes is it comes as a kit. We, this one doesn't. Oh, sorry, it doesn't. It comes as a pattern. So, it's a pattern. Sorry. It comes with the button. It comes with the button, and the button is at the top right here. And so, she bought this plaque at Joann's. We put a link below. It's like $8 mm -hmm. on sale, and then she added the pumpkin. I'm talking from Target. So this is like the pumpkin. And she put a sticky board and this is a mammoth flannel. So she has it on a flannel and super cute. She stitched it on 32 count silvery moon Lugana from her stash. And if you wanted to do something similar, she suggests 32 count graceful gray. And she did use the called for DMC colors. We've got some other things that Cheryl has done. Halloween so Cheryl did Halloween bird. If this is sold out, we will have more any day. It's been selling really fast. It is by Heart and Hand. She stitched it on 32 count vintage country mocha linen and she did use the called for threads. Super cute. This one, oh my gosh, this is to die for. This is like, can we zoom in a little bit, Lily? This is so cute. So this is a, the newest pattern by Little House Needleworks. It's called the Rooster and the Hen. And she stitched it on 20 count Monaco and she tea dyed it and she used the called four threads. This is, I need to make this. Maybe I'll make it this weekend. This makes me want to make it. These are totally my colors. I would just change this to aqua. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. I wonder how she's going to um, frame it. This would look, or finish it. I bet it would look, it would look really good in just a frame. It might look good in one of Lori's frames. And then we got Terry to send us some great stuff. Terry works in customer service. This is the Farmhouse Christmas series. And so she has a couple of them finished. This one is called Little Red Barn. She stitched it with the DMC called for threads and she stitched on 28 count Jobelin mushroom. And we don't have that color, but we have similar fabrics. And then this is another one that's part of this series. So this is one by Little House that you can either stitch it singul singularly, sorry, or in a series as one big piece. So this is horsing around. It's so cute. And then this one is called Farm Folk. It's so cute. And we sell this as a set. And if we sell out, we will have more any day because we ordered a bunch of these because we didn't know she was going to finish these. 
So these are lots of our finishes. Super cute. So let me know if you'll have any questions on any of these finishes that I just went over um, so that I can make sure that I answer those before I keep going. Well, first of all, we have, oh, let me zoom out. <laughs> We have a super chat from Cindy Jensen. Thank you. Oh man, no super piggy today. I thought he was loaded. Uh, super chat for $1.99. She says, love the channel. So thank, thank you so you. much, Cindy. And then uh, from Gigi Odom, do you ever color over cross stitch patterns that are printed in black and white so it is easier to keep up with where you are? I don't. If I'm having trouble seeing it, I will um, enlarge it and print it on a bigger piece of paper. That's what I did with Snow Village. Of course, it's, you know, I'm only copying it for my personal use. I don't um, trust myself with markers. Um, I'm a little bit clumsy. And so I think I would probably get that all over the place. Um, but I do sometimes have to enlarge. Okay. And from Shelly uh, Mitchell, she says, Cheryl, about Cheryl's Halloween countdown, is there a similar pattern for a Christmas countdown? Okay, Denise is saying that Tiny Modernist has an Advent one and she'll put on her list that if we don't carry it, we will stock it. Um, and then maybe Cheryl, because I'm sure Cheryl's watching, she can make it. <laughs> Go Cheryl. Um, yeah, Cheryl likes to make all this stuff. I'm so in love with that one she did. I didn't see it till just now. 12 Days of Christmas. 12 Days of Christmas and we have it. Okay, Textilla Erica says, hi, so I have a question about Lori Holt cross stitch pattern. Will they be available as a PDF or turned into a book? Greetings from Erica in Sweden. Okay, I think I missed the question. Oh, uh, will Lori Holt's patterns be turned into a PDF or a book at some point? Okay, neither. Um, we're just selling her patterns as they are um, and we're not doing it as a PDF. And you know what guys, I totally forgot to show our Stitchtober shout out. So we're gonna go back and do that. Oh, yes. So these are by Lori. Can we put the hashtag up? Not at the same time. Oh, okay. So this is uh, Lori's. And so Lori stitched these on a super low linen count. And um, I think she used DMC on these. And so she's gonna be turning these into something super fun and then she's gonna mail them to us. I know what she's doing, but I don't wanna tell you guys yet because I want y'all to see it. Um, she's gonna send them to us to show. So that's one of her pictures. And this is another one. And you can see that she's doing different borders on them. And then she's got one more picture. So this is B. Lori one, and these are her patterns. They're from her stitch cards series. And then we've got a couple others. This is uh, B. Lori. So this is her piece. And so she's just, this is her social media piece. And that is, she did that picture on top of her floss cabinet that I totally copied. And then we can keep going. <laughs> This is another one from B. Lori. It's the same one. It's just an up close photo. And this is Jana Glosson. So glad I was able to finish this cute chart just in time for the last day of Stitchtober. And so I think she used a very similar frame that Lori used on um, Happy Camper. So she kind of used that same idea and put it on sticky boards. So that's pretty awesome. And then this is Teresa McMath. And she got the turkey stitch today. It looks cute. And then this is the little red tractor that she's gonna be doing. This is Dana Quilts, super cute. And then Simper Fi Beauty, super cute. And Goat so Goat Sweat Knits. So she's also doing it on a lighter count. So this is really cute because it's fun to show um, how all the different fabrics look. So we can keep going. This is Lisa Marie 0119. So that is super cute. Mm -hmm. And I love that everyone's putting all the little different motifs in different spots. And this is the same, oh, it's the same lady earlier mm -hmm. in the day. I mean, earlier in her, in her <laughs> stitching progress. That would be impressive if it was the same day. Yeah, it would be. And this is so awesome, Michelle Hellman. Okay, I wasn't sure exactly what this fabric was and I love it. 
and I didn't know what it was. So if she wants to let us know, I'm sure a lot of us um, would love to know exactly what that is. Mm -hmm. And then this is Gigi Odom. She's in our Stitch Squad. And um, she did this. It's super cute. And I wanted to show you guys. This is, she's got that in a Q-snap. And then around the Q-snap, she has a Grime Guard, which I'm not sure if she made that or bought it, but it's super cute. And then underneath it is her Table Runner from Spooky Box. This is Jeannie Mar Monroe. It looks like she might have, oh my gosh, she did three by 12, three by four, three by 12, three by four. So she did 12. That's awesome. That's cute. That is cute. And then CBY Oneda. That is cute. I'm not sure what color the dots were, but that's super cute. Mm -hmm. Sweet Sue Ellen. Super cute. It looks like Lori's version. And then we're back to Lori's. So we're going to also go back because we have the we have the Bloom Topia needle minder, and I wanted to show you what Cheryl was doing with hers. Mm -hmm. So she like so she when Cheryl stitches, she uses um, like a magnet board. Loran magnet board, sorry. And so those are the scissors that she always uses. Those are the cotton candy scissors. And um, she's using that to store, using her Bloomtopia to put her scissors on. So that's super awesome. I just want to show you guys. And then let me know if you'll have any questions from any of this stuff. Um, the Bloomtopia is going to be 12 different releases over six months. All right. Um, we do have two super chats. Thank you. Um, the first one is from Stitching with the Sisterlies for $1.99. She says, love you guys and how you enable me. LOL. Oh, like yeah. Everybody can for you. I think we enable each other also. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, and then we have another super chat from Marcy Heron for $9.99. Um, thank you. I don't know if you said anything. No, she just, thank you, Marcy. Very much appreciate that. Confetti can for you, Marcy. Yay. I love confetti can and you guys, if you can't tell. Um, and then Tracy Thompson was asking, good morning, sorry I missed the beginning, can we order Bloomtopia yet? So Bloomtopia, you can order the bag, the needle minder, the thread, the chart will be starting in February. And the fabric will be back in stock in a little bit. Oh, and Gigi Odom um, from her uh, shout out right now says, I did make the grime guard. She did, awesome. Okay. And Marianne Keegan, in reply to her shout-out, says the fabric was called Hopscotch. It's from the 1980s. Oh, wow. That's, it's cute because the colors match. Because I was like, I haven't seen this fabric in a while. Gwen Smith says, okay, what are the cotton candy scissors? Cotton candy scissors are, I think we sell them. And um, we might be, yeah, we sell them. There's different colors. And Cheryl just likes them because they're super sharp. There's, um, they come in pink and purple, but they are very, very, very sharp. And so um, they're kind of like my yellow omni scissors. Okay. Uh, Gianna Gorsuch says, what is the stitch count of Bloomtopia? I need to order fabric and I'm not sure which count yet. Um, we use 25 count Lugana in the pewter color. We'll have more in stock soon, but you can do it on any count you want. All right. Okay. Sorry, there's a question I'm trying to find. Um, okay, I believe it got cut off. It's from Kirsten Nakeen. Uh, she says, I'm reordering a red typewriter because I have an old typewriter machine. Do you have, and it got cut off. So if you could re-enter the question, Kirsten. Okay. And we did have another uh, super chat from Stitching with the Sisterlies. Because um, her super chat earlier, uh, she wanted to give a different amount. So she said um, she figured out how to add more. And she said, keep filming and lives coming. 
Lily slash Lily. She spelled it two different ways in Kimberly. So thank you so much, Stitching with the Sisters. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you something funny about Lily. It drives me nuts. Her name is Liliana with two L's, and her name is spelled Lily with one L. It drives me crazy. Is it reversed? It's the opposite. (laughs) I don't even know. I just send her emails. So it's Liliana with one L, Yeah. And but then Lily with two L's. Yeah. So I'm like, why do you have to complicate things? She's like, well, my mom did it. Yeah, well, because my mom's Lily with one L, so I had to be different. And oh, I think okay. it looks better with two L's anyway. So I just think it's funny. Yeah. Or, like, the two L's fits my personality better. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tula E. Hubbard says, what was the little house Christmas cross-stitch called that you showed? Farmhouse Christmas, and there's three different ones, and um, I, I think that comes as a set of either nine or twelve, but you can buy them individually also. Um, they were parts one, two, and eight. And Candy Crew says, "Where can we get the cotton candy scissors, and can you carry the eight by ten magnet boards?" We carry both of those. Oh, yay! Check the shop, Candy. Or yeah, and if you, yeah, it should be say too. cotton candy scissors, and if we're out, we'll look when we get done and see if we are out of any of those. And uh, Daisy Tolson says, love the floss whisperer. Thank oh. you, Denise. We love you. <laughs> yeah, Denise, she has, to, she does like all the ordering for cross stitch. And so, um, and I do some of it, but I will tell you, cross stitch is its own animal. Those sites are not easy to use, and half the time I can't find any of it. So, she's like... So on Snow Village, I have another finish. So I'm so excited. Um, I wanted to show you Cheryl's finish. Snow Village is the brand new series by Country Cottage Needleworks. So the the top one right here is Cheryl's. And she's part of our linen club. And it's now sold out. But this is Cheryl's. And I wanted to show you mine so you could see the difference. Mine is on 18 count so mine is much smaller and I used my thread pack that I put together so I changed the colors a little bit and so I finished it the only difference that I'm so you can really see the difference in the size let me put them I'm gonna just put them right here so one of the things that I am doing that's a little bit different than what I'm seeing on social media is I am going to put in all my back stitching and French knots and all the like intricate things at the very end. So that's the only thing I haven't finished because I want to do that all at the very end. And I'm going to do mine as a series where I add around it. And then Cheryl's going to do hers individually. So I just wanted to show you that. Super, super cute. And then we have some whips. This is own autumn i don't even know how to say that by tralala so she's in the process of making this she stitched it on 32 count silver moon from her stash and she would suggest 32 count graceful gray linen and she um so this is her she has lots of thread changes um i don't know if i want to say all those so (laughs) there's a lot of thread changes so this is one of hers. And then this is Jardin Preve ABC Halloween. And so on this one, it's much easier to see where she's not finished. On the other one, it was harder to tell where she stopped. So um, look at that little skeleton. So cute. And it was a mania start for Cheryl. She stitched it with called for DMC on 28 count Joblin Dusty Green. We'll have to carry all these colors that she's stitching on. She has a huge stash. So she'll probably be done with this next week. So we've got that. And then we have some new items. So um, I'll show you our new items real quick. We have a new pattern called Happy Fall Y'all by Flamingo Toes. Her patterns have been super, super popular. I'm going to take them out because the light today is pulling on it so you can really see so this is super cute and she is a quilt designer and she has lots of embroidery patterns so she's converting her embroidery to cross stitch and then she has another one and it's 
sew all the things. And she has a needle minder that looks just like this. That's a white needle minder. And then we got little bits of Christmas by the drawn thread. So this one has four patterns in it, which is really nice when you get a pattern that has a little bit more to it. I like the little Santa. And then this one is little bits of Halloween, and I can guarantee that um, somebody who works here is going to be making that. She'll probably make all four of them. So Cheryl's a little obsessed with Halloween. And then we also got this little cute little yardstick box. Super cute. It says Fat Quarter Shop, and I have been putting it next to my bed, and then I just put my threads in there, and I use flo floss flowers for all of mine. So what, whichever one I'm working on, I put in there. And you can fit a lot. Like, you can fit, um, you can really stack them in there. So I've been using that. That's brand new. So that's what I have today. Um, I have Q&As at the end, but um, I want to answer any questions you have on all the new stuff we have. Now, next week, we are going to have the thread packs available for the brand new Lori pattern bringing home the tree that pattern will release the week after and we are going to do a sew along with that and we also have a christmas sew along planned and i have started stitching it i started it's kind of funny i started at the bottom i'm not really sure what i was thinking so i'm going backwards and i'm hoping that i don't go out of order because it's going to be pretty obvious if i do but i'm going to get a little bit more of that done before i show you um that stitch long Oh, and I also have some samplers. I did bring some samplers. I'm going to do those real quick. So I wanted to show the samplers that I made my kids. So do you want to zoom in? Yeah. So I am a little um, ambitious. This is Emma's. This was, I believe, a dimensions kit pattern. And I love it. It's got a lot of back stitches though, and I'm not a fan of back stitches. This might be the last back stitch I ever did. That's so cute. It is, right? And it's so pink. That was the pink her room is. And let me tell you, she is not a girly girl. So I <laughs> outdid her with the pink. And these are very heavy. So this is Will's. Will, Peyton, and Christopher's are all patterns from Historical Sampler Company. I bought the patterns from the United Kingdom. We don't sell any of these patterns. I just wanted to show what I had made and how I had them framed. So this is Will's and on Will and Peyton's, I basically went to the store. I mean, this is so old, but I went and just handpicked colors I liked and totally converted the colors. So if you made this um, and you bought the pattern, the pattern is very UK colors. So this is Will's. And this is Peyton's. And um, it's kind of fun because Peyton loves pandas. So he's got a little panda in there. And he was little. So you can see that Will was, they're twins. Will was eight pounds and Peyton was 5'12". So you can see quite the difference in them. And then you're going to see as I go along, you know, you have kids. Oh, Christopher got the little one. <laughs> but I like Christopher's the best, actually. I His, um, I don't know why I like his the best, but his is super cute. So... And he was a big kid. Look at that, 9'9". Nine, nine. Oh, my gosh. He was a big old kid. <laughs> so um, so that's what we have this week. Tons of stuff. And um, I will answer any questions um, on all the things that people stitched. And um, I do want to, we did link to the spooky plaque that Cheryl bought at Joann's. Okay. Uh, let me get to some questions from Facebook first from Kathy Shockey. She says, good morning, sunny and chilly 49. Do you know when the My House Hometown Part 1 will be back in stock? Lost Whisper. My uh, House Part 1. My House Hometown Part 1. I'm sure this week, this week or next week, we ordered it. Um, we order all the patterns daily. So if anything ever sells out, it's always on reorder. Um and then from Garilyn Beezer, when you stitch on a small count like 18, do you cross over two squares? I have been doing over one. I've been using a magnifier, the Halo Go magnifier that we sell. We're currently out, but I think it's coming back in stock really soon. And I railroad my threads on the top layer, and we have a video on how I do that. But um, I railroaded every single stitch on that Snow Village, and it, that little piece in the center took me 17 hours. Um, 
I was struggling um, just because I really want it to be nice and I've never stitched on 18 count and so it's been I don't want to say like a struggle but it's just been um, you know harder to work on and harder to do so I've been much slower and for example the little um, the little kitty cat I did it was like seven hours so I mean you know kitty cats more fun because you can see the results faster <laughs> All right, from Anne Marie Mikowski, she says, missed on scissors for TSA, which ones they were. Uh, phone never rings for Wednesday mornings. So, uh, and a, f a few people answered her that it was the cotton candy scissors. Yes. Um, but I did look this up the last week. Uh, TSA um, on their website says that scissors four inches or less, uh, starting at the pivot point, like where the little screw is. Um, you measure out from there and if it's less than four inches you should be in the clear uh, but like all things with TSA it is at the discretion of the agent so I think the cotton candy ones are well within yes that range so you're good yeah. with that what Denise the floss whisperer is laughing at me <laughs> yeah I take the little yellow omni grid scissors on and I've never um, gotten caught or they've never said anything <laughs> and one time I think Lily was with me I had four of them in the bag like four scissors they didn't stop me yeah, yeah, they, she had a lot of scissors that day. And yeah, it's... Um, I didn't mean to. I just, I'm a scissor hoarder. I hoard scissors <laughs> like nothing. Yeah, and like with anything, uh, with TSA, like if you're within the guidelines and you're kind to them, like probably 100% of the time, they're going to be like, fine. Um, yeah, TSA agents like it when you're nice to them. Okay, Stacy Fallon, when will Snow Village ship? Snow Village, if you were in the club shipped already like a month ago and part two has not shipped from her yet um as soon as the day we receive it we'll be shipping it out right away okay. should be soon should be any day she hasn't said anything on social media that i've seen okay uh oh and going back to the question from kristen nackin that got cut off earlier she says do you have the floss used in the red floss in the type red typewriter pattern oh Red typewriter? Mm -hmm. Retro typewriter? Um, the retro typewriter online is in a, oh, the, okay. So, I, I don't know. The retro typewriter that we did, um, I, would, I don't know the answer to that. There might, we'd have to look at their website. I know we kitted it in Aqua Cosmo. Oh. Um, but the typewriter I thought was pink on, and not red so I'm not sure if we're even talking about the same thing but um let us know Kristen if you know like the name of the pattern and then like we can try to look it up real quick yes we will look that up for you okay Jennifer Jungle says thank you for ordering the early American series by the way that I requested I can't wait to get that set you guys rock thanks oh and then we do have some pictures from Priscilla and Chelsea we can show oh, yes. Yes, yes. sorry I forgot those I didn't forget I was gonna bring it up. Don't worry. okay so this is the drawn thread, Simply Scary, and Priscilla's, I'm not Priscilla, Chelsea's been working on that. And then this is Priscilla's, and that's her little cat and her little new doggy. That's oh. her, that's Bonnie's dog, or Bonnie and Tanner's dog. What's, do you know the dog's name? No. Oh. I know her kid's name, but I don't know the dog's name. <laughs> <laughs> At uh, least Priscilla I know the kid's Chelsea. name. I know the kitty's name is Calvin, and he's mean. He scratches. Oh, he's mean. He's a mean kitty. So those were their Stitchtobers. If you guys can tell us the dog's name if you're in the chat, I would love to know. <laughs> oh, and then this is Boo. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the Boo chart. I'm in the club, the Chalkful Club, uh, designed by Priscilla with hands-on design. And she finished it for me, and she finished it with a pumpkin that she got from... Layla May designs and then she used a stripe and a little zigzag and she put a little bow and the little pumpkin is like a little feltish type pumpkin and I have that decoration in my bedroom so I'm going to put this in my bedroom so excited oh and there's just another photo of it so cute and when I did mine I used all orange and I used the same orange throughout whatever came with my kit is what I used and I had plenty for all of them and then her next one is Santa's and that is supposed to ship Friday, Friday. Friday from Hands on Design. She's going to ship it Friday. And as soon as we get it, we'll package it up and ship our club out. So that club should be going, we're hoping, the end of next week. Priscilla and Chelsea say the dog's name is Nala. That's amazing. 
I don't get it. Nala is the girl lion from The Lion King. Oh, I don't like that movie. I don't like that movie. That oh, movie's that's right. Makes me I'm sad. sorry. I don't like that movie. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's still an amazing name. Okay. Um, from Stella, 1710. Hello, FQS. Kim, do you recommend the Halo magnifier lamp to work at night? Yes. So I use it. I broke my first one. You have to use it on like a flat surface. So I have a little pink lap stand and or lap lap like thing laptop. lap thing you put it in your lap and it has a cushion on the bottom so i've been using it that way and that's been working great so don't break yours christopher still asks me how much is that did you break i'm like oh that sounds like <laughs> he totally learned that from me because i'm like all about not wasting money and uh, yeah okay from jennifer eanes the bloomtopia will be my very first cross stitch <gasps> How exciting. I Yay! need the easiest cross stitch fabric to make it. What would you suggest? I would start with 14 count. And I would do a light gray. 14 count peaceful gray? No. Graceful gray. Graceful gray. 14 count graceful gray. And all the information on Bloomtopia is on our blog, all in one spot. Um, and we have that link below so that if there's any questions, it's all there. Okay, and this is probably one of my favorite comments from the live stream today. Sandy Ruck says, would you ever consider purchasing... Oh, no. Well, she's asking a question. She has another comment that's awesome that I'll say in a sec. She said, would you ever consider purchasing Country Cottage Needleworks, the Nutcracker? Sure, we can buy it. Okay. And now for my favorite comment. Sorry, they were like in a row. She says, I've wanted to make samplers for all my kids, but I have 13 kids. I'll never get it done. Oh, no. Who you could do you, like Sandy? an advent calendar and just do like one and they all get a square <laughs> and they all get in one little package. Yeah, 13 days. Oh man, that's amazing. Or like just little small squares. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Caroline Yonetta says, uh, Kimberly about Snow Village. Uh, struggle was the color of, was the color of the fabric an issue on Snow Village. So this is the color that came with the club. And um, the only reason I didn't stitch on this color was because I knew Cheryl was. And so I always want to show you guys something different. So I stitched on this one to be different. Um, just because what fun would it be to show you the same exact thing twice? And I do want to make it. Um, stitching on this was not an issue. What's the name of it? Gray on white petty dots. Petite dots, petty point, petty, petty point, petty point dots. Um, and stitching on the white is, is no big deal. But um, I like the blue just as much. I just thought that would be kind of redundant. And the whole point of the live stream is to like inspire you guys to like show you what stuff actually looks like so that if you really like it, you can make it. And if you really hate it, you can just save your money. All right, from Anis and Dejas on the Snow Village, I would like to stitch mine like yours. How would I know where to start? Uh, just start in the middle? Do you just yes. start in the middle? I started right in the middle. And if you go to Country Cottage Needleworks website, on the very bottom row, there's a link that says Snow Village. And she shows you how they're all laid out and they're one stitch away. And there's a description there. And so you just find all your information. So it's gonna have little things all the way around. I think they're like little villages, snow houses, or I don't know, I haven't seen the design. So, um, you know, like we, don't know exactly what's going to go around, but I'm excited about part two. I'm excited that I finished in time for part two. And from Greta Carter, can we order thread packs for bringing home the tree? Yes, they will be available next week. All right. Uh, feel free to keep asking questions in the chat, guys. We received some questions beforehand for our Q&A portion. And some of them are duplicates, so um, we're going to ask them, but then if I've already answered it, I'm going to say I already answered it. All right, from Tanya Garrison, hello to all the amazing FQS staff. I've been a quilting customer for years and now I'm also a cross stitch customer. My comment, if Brenda Gervais doesn't allow you to sell the wordplay series, I suggest you have Lori Hull create a monthly series, which would be even better. Um, so Lori has something coming out that's going to be amazing. That is going to be a series. It will be its own thing though, and it doesn't look anything like wordplay. Um, and a lot of you guys asked in the comments, I'm just gonna go ahead and answer it before we ask it 10 times. She has not answered me, um, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry that, but. And from Shelly Phillips Edwards, 
So bummed I can't watch live tomorrow. This work life gets in the way of my hobbies. How do you know when you need to use more than two strands of floss? Is it personal preference based on stitch sickness or being able to see the background color of the cloth? What is too much? So there's like a guide we have. It's in there. Um, let me just have the bag. I think I have it in here. Uh -huh. I, there's like a little guide that I use. Oh, oh, it's a gauge. Sorry, it's called the stitch gauge, yarn tree stitch gauge. So if you will zoom in, Lily, I can explain how you use this. So this, to answer, your, and I know this has stuff on it that's called kids and life. So this is a stitch gauge, and the way that you use it is, for example, if you're this, if you put this on your Ada, it would tell you if it's fourteen. But if you're stitching on 14 count, you would use two strands. 16 count, two strands. 18 count, two strands. So it kind of tells you on this gauge, so that's what I use. And it's just called a stitch gauge. And I, the main reason I use this actually is I use it for the ruler part. I actually don't even pay attention to this. But we've got so many questions on that that we might do like a little free insert or a free link to where you could go to find that information. Um, it's all just personal preference. Um, and I, if I ever have a question of what I think I would want it to look like, I would just do a little stitch in the corner uh, to test it out. But I usually do two strands. That's what I like, because I can do the loop method. Okay, from Nancy Oliver Fitzpatrick, how many strands of Aura Floss do you use on 14 Count Ada? And planning ahead for Bloomtopia stitching after the first year, and planning to use 14 Count Pewter Ada Cloth. I use two or three. Oh, and we just got a super chat from Cindy Jensen for forty nine ninety nine. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Cindy. Thank That's you. so generous. That makes me feel guilty. That you get you get a few confetti cannons here because that gonna do all is so the... helpful. Yeah, <laughs> you got me all excited over here. Thank you, Cindy. All right, um, and from a different Cindy, Sydney Krell. When putting people's eyes on, do you do a colonial knot or French knot? Can you demo the best one? So Cheryl is great at both of those. Cheryl works for us, Cheryl Cohorn. She has done videos for us on the Fat Girl Shop Floss Tube on French knots and colonial knots. And um, I would watch hers. I do not like making knots. I will do anything to not do them. Um, if I have to choose between the two, I would do a colonial knot because it's smaller um, but I do have to go back and reference Cheryl's video to figure out how to do it, because I forget. Yes, and uh, those videos are on our FlossTube channel that you're watching right now. April Jackson says, questions. One, when do you, when do you anticipate more slots for Floss Fix to open up? November. And number two, can you End give... End of November. Uh, can you give any teaser info for the finishing packs Priscilla and Chelsea mentioned? Yes. So I actually spent about four hours on this yesterday. They're gonna have three finishing packs. They're gonna have a Christmas, Halloween fall, and farmhouse. And they're gonna include half yard cuts of different fabrics that they picked. And um, those will be available as the fabric comes in. So I would say one to two weeks. It could be three weeks, but basically they're all a mix of like Michael Miller, no, not Michael Miller, Moda, Robert Kaufman, Wyndham, Wilmington, all of them. So basically that all has to come in and then I allocate it out. Um, and we'll have enough to make 180. And then when they're gone, they're probably gonna be gone and then we would make a new one because all of the fabric, the way quilting works is you can get the fabric once and then when it's out, it's out. It's not like cross stitch where you can just keep reordering the same color. So cross stitch is, it's, is just different than quilting. So we ordered a ton of what we could get, but then when it's out, we'll move on and we'll create a new one. All right, from Jane Bromley, how far is okay to travel stitches? Is there a limit as to how many? Um, it's really personal preference. I usually only travel two stitches, but I'm a little bit OCD about the back. Like if you ever look, let me see the back of one of mine. On the back of like trick or treat, I'll show you. Um, I really don't travel much. So um, it's all personal preference. Some people travel a lot if you don't care. It's all just whatever you think. Um, but I don't even travel between the letters. Um, so totally up to you. All right. 
from Kebabbing, looking for a master list for thread conversion, specifically DMC to Weeks, Gast, Classic Colorworks, etc. Some older designs are charted in just DMC and would be beautiful with a few swaps of overdyed flosses. Thanks. So, on that, I would just Google it. Um, if the, the companies don't necessarily tell you the conversion, because then they're telling you what floss color they're dyeing on top of, and they obviously want you to buy their floss. Um, so there's some people who like maybe some like floss tubers out there who have like put those conversions together, but there's not like an official one. And so um, you just would Google that. Uh, Proverbs 3122 says, does FQS have any virtual jobs? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hard enough to, to manage the people we have. That's hilarious. Um, Owens Judy says, big shout out to Kim in customer service. She went above and beyond helping put a project together. Go Yay! Kim. Confetti cannon for Kim. And that uh, for those of you who may have not talked to Kim from customer service, she is a different Kim than the one you're seeing right now. She when she when She's worked for us forever, like at least 10 years. And she used to tell me when she first started, oh, I'm so glad my name is Kim or, you know, something like that. She's like, because everyone's so nice to me, they think it's you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, something to that effect of, like, she always liked that that was, you know, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mitch 2 Flag Girl says, when and how did you start your company? Oh, I just, um, I've told the story before, but I just started it. I had a job. The economy was not so great. I knew I wasn't going to have a job soon. I thought, oh, I'd just be a stay-at-home mom. I could just do this out of my, you know, my sewing room or whatever. And it just kind of grew and grew and grew. But that's just kind of a nature of who I am. Um, I like to be busy. I like to do things. There's, I like to go, 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 go. Um, so it's been fun. And question from Gigi Odom. Uh, did anyone come up with a better way to hoop 10 count fabric for this? Mine still isn't quite large enough and it's too bulky to handle. So what I do with 10 count is I do use a Q snap because I'm unable to get the grip. So I use a Q snap and I just go bigger. As my design gets bigger, I just go to a bigger Q snap. Um, but Q snap is what I have been doing. And uh, Lori's brand new colors were gonna be coming in stock really soon. She's got the American blue, she's got a black, um, she's got some other colors coming in. And as soon as those get here, Denise and I are gonna go through and kit some stuff up um, since uh, we like to stitch them. So if we stitch them, we can kit them. But we want to see them in person first before um, we put the kits together. But I'm excited to like get back to the 10 count is basically what I'm trying to say. From Debbie Shapiro Gelkin, do you force yourself to finish every project? Or do you give yourself permission to shove it in the drawer? Um, so what I do is I if I start a project, I like to finish it right away. If I'm not loving it, I will either gift it to someone and just scratch it or, um, but I don't ever leave something to finish like in two years. I either finish it or like mania, all my manias at the end of mania, I was like, okay, I'm never going to finish these. So I did a contest or a giveaway and some of my customers got them. Um, so hopefully they're going to finish them. I would never like throw them away. Um, but then all my manias are still sitting in my white bucket. And as um, you've seen that I've finished a couple, I just pull them out as, I'm ready, like for example, Christmas is now gonna come up. So I've got a lot of Christmas pieces in there and I've just gotta finish them up. Um, but as I have time, so basically, yes and no. If I'm going to know that I'm gonna love a project, finish it, I try to finish it right away. Unless it's like a mania. And if I'm not gonna finish it, I'm gonna gift it to someone. Uh, Jennifer Osmond Gregory has several questions. Um, the first one is, when will Mary from Chockful ship? next week or the week after as soon as we get the patterns okay and can we have a cross stitch theme daily flash sale like you do with the quilting items not yet we don't have enough items mm -hmm. and can we get 14 ch count chalkboard black ate up by the yard because i'm obsessed with priscilla's designs and have a small addiction and it's your fault because you got me hooked on cross stitch lol um, we don't have it by the bolt yet. I mean, we might in the future, but right now, um, the big piece is really big enough for most things. All right. And she says, but seriously, thanks for all you do for us quilters and cross stitchers. Love the tubes. Thank you. Thanks. And from Julie Thorne, I would be interested in seeing a demonstration with various Krennic. I'm sorry if I'm not Krennic. saying it. 
Krynik threads, thank you, such as Glow in the Dark, Metallic, also with Alpaca and Whisper, etc., including what needle size, how to stitch with it. I know you don't carry them, but the effects are so awesome. Um, we can put that on the list for next year. Um, I know that Cheryl has some experience with that. I have none, so maybe we could do a special video on that, um, but that would be like down the list and um, definitely next year. Okay. From Lori Tribe, I love being part of this community. You help me stay motivated and wanting to do more and more. One day I will retire and have more time to stitch. Until then, I am stitching what I can and buying for the future. If ever you do a solid cross stitch piece, I would be interested in seeing how you choose to park your threads. I have two very large projects that I want to start, but am a little intimidated. Thanks. So for parking threads, I cannot wrap my head around that at all. Jan Hicks from Jan Hicks Creates that is also stitching along with us on our charity cross stitch she has a video on it so um it was probably two months ago that it came out but i have zero experience in parking and i watched all of jan's and i just can't i'm not sure that my brain i mean everybody learns different and pieces different i could not get my um, head around what she was doing um but and there's lots of stuff online but i would look at jan hicks because she's very good and she's very detailed about like explaining how it works um so i would kind of go there to her video all right and jan kessler says can you explain how you do back stitches so they are at an angle in snow village i'm used to going from hole to hole but it looks like these may go elsewhere so it angles properly to the pole thanks in advance for help let me show i'm gonna just show cheryl's up close So basically it is, it's from hole to hole and hole to hole. And I'm gonna show you the back. And she just does it like any back stitch. You can see as she went through the letters, behind the letters, she put her needle under the white so that it wouldn't drag on the back, but she just treat, treated it like a normal back stitch. And then at the end, she just put like a little tiny I don't want to say not, but just kind of went under the threads a couple of times. And the beauty of this is it's not supposed to be really tight. It's not, I don't think it's meant to be super perfect and super tight. So she left some give in it so that it looks really pretty. You know, it kind of will move around. Sorry, I touched her stitches. Um, but um, she, you can just see the front and the back looks really neat. And she just did it where it's not too tight. Um, and I'll, yeah, I haven't done mine yet, but you know, it's not super tight. So hopefully that helps. Um, but she just, I think she just did it like a normal back stitch. Um, I'm going to do mine obviously at the very end. So I haven't tried it yet. Okay. From Sherry Dolan, uh, what is the largest cross stitch project you have stitched? The biggest is Emma's birth sampler that I just showed. Um, that took me forever. It's huge. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> All right, Patty Barry Serene. I am a new cross stitcher. Have only used Ada. What is the difference between linen Lugana and is one of them closer to Ada and beginner friendly? So we did a video on this also um, about the different types of fabric. So. If you wanted to switch from Ada to something else, I would go to Lugana because it's an even weave. Even weave just means that the, the, the threads are the same. They're even throughout. With linen, it is not always exactly even. So if you were going to go from something, I would go from Ada to Lugana, and 25 count is really nice. All right, from April Jackson, Kimberly, what is your unicorn uh, besides the Brenda Gervais line? What is one thing on your bucket list? Um, I don't really have one. Um, they asked me that earlier and I was like, I don't really, if I want something, I do it. I don't know. I don't, I don't really have, um, I don't know. I don't have one. I don't think. Is that the same as like saying a white whale? I think it's like, it means like, what is like your dream? Like what you really want to do okay. one day, like your bucket list, okay. like before you die, what do you want to sew? 
For me, oh, I just, okay. I, I think that's what it means. I could be totally wrong. I don't know. I didn't even know that basic was a thing until Cody told me <laughs> the other day that basic is, because I said the word basic, and she said, that's, you know, that's what teenagers say. And I was like, no, I don't know that. And then my daughter got in the car and was like, I'm a basic, what'd she say? Visco. I was like, she's like, Mom, I'm a basic Visco. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then I'm like, Cody was right. Basic's a thing. So anyway, yeah, my point is, I'm not always in the know of what things are. So I could be totally wrong about Unicorn, but I don't really have anything on my list that's like dying to be done. Mary Miles Keenan, do you know when the next part of Snow Village will be sent out? Soon. As soon as we get it, should be in a week or two. She hasn't released anything on social media that I've seen um, with the date yet. Oh, April Jackson says, Unicorn is a pattern you want to stitch but can't find. Oh, I didn't answer that right. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, no, I don't have one, I don't think. Can't find, yeah. That's interesting. That's funny. See, I knew, I told you, I told you, I didn't know. I don't know all the terms. I'm glad that at least Cody told me basic was a thing because then when she got in the car and was talking about basic this and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking, whatever. <laughs> so then I had to tell Denise and Denise Googled it for me and showed me a picture and I was like, <laughs> okay. I didn't know. I thought she was saying it with a B, not a V. I didn't know. I'm like, I need to know what my kid's oh, talking basic. about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So she had to show me a picture of what it was because <laughs> I need to pretend that I know what my child is talking about and I'm really old and I don't know what she's talking about half the time. Uh, Donna Sturm says, do you think more companies will start doing their charts in color? And there's another question, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I think when they print in black and white, obviously when you print, you save a lot of money by doing black and white. It costs probably a third of the price. Um, so I'm sure it's like money and then being able to keep the price of the chart down. Okay. Um, and then her second question was, do you think you and your team could design charts similar to the wordplay charts you like? No, I don't. Um, I don't copy. All right. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a few more questions from okay. you two. Uh, Beverly Boy says, do you ever use the pin stitch instead of burying your thread under other stitches? No, um, I have not mastered that. I cannot. It's kind of like um, colonial knots and French knots. I don't know, I just can't get it. So kind of when I can't get it, I just leave it. And Holy Holly Pratter, <laughs> sorry Holly, says, when will the Chalk Full Club be open again? I so need to join. We'll, we'll look at it, we don't know, off the top of my head. But we do sell everything individually, so I'm not sure right off the top of our head, we don't know. Mary Keenan says, what is parking thread? Okay, so parking thread to even understand it, you would have to like Google. Okay, so Google parking cross stitch thread and your mind's gonna go, what? It's basically, um, let me see if one of the. It's basically for if you were doing something like a heaven on earth where every single stitch is covered. So like you've got something where you're not ever gonna see the cloth. So say you're stitching here and you've got a blue, but you don't wanna trim it off. You would pull the blue up here. So you would have floss sticking out of your project all up here and as you go you go by color I think it's not it's for some it's parking thread is really for something if you're very doing something full coverage and um I do basic stuff now but see I just used the word I do simple <laughs> stuff so I don't need to park um I do easy stuff I mean you can see from the kitty that I'm like aiming high I'm like I love that kitty I'm gonna make it my kids all love it oh. they want it in their room so w I'm gonna have to finish out I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to finish it. Okay. From Deanna Gorsuch, I just loved her comment. She said, oh my goodness, I want to be like Cheryl when I grow up. Her stitching is amazing. It is amazing. And she um, doesn't even, I, does, she, does she use a magnifier? I don't even think she uses a magnifier. Like she wow. has got, she, and her house is like all cross stitch. And I haven't even been to her house since Emma was a baby. Emma's 12 now. I probably haven't been to her house in like nine years. Cross stitch, cross stitch, cross stitch everywhere. It's awesome. Elaine H says, when did Kevin join Fat Quarter Shop? Uh, probably like two years after we started. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon after, um, maybe three. 
Okay, and <laughs> Jennifer Jungle says, this whole Visco thing threw me for a loop too. My daughter tried explaining it to me last week and I still didn't get it. The new lingo is so confusing for me. Guess I am old now. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's sometimes, and, and it was like 9, 15 at night. I'm like, really? Like, come on. I just want to go home and go to bed. I don't want to have to look up your stuff. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't know what it was either for a long time. I didn't even know basic was a thing until Monday in a meeting. And Cody was like, you know that basic is a word that teenagers use. And I was like, no, I don't know that. And then picked up my daughter that night and she's talking about basic this. And there's different basics, right? There's different, there's like basic, like you could be the basic, what is it? The basic mom, Nancy. Is it Nancy? There's a thing like. Uh, I'm looking at Denise because I'm not sure. It's like basic, um, there's a mom name and they're like, you're a basic, and then they say that, and there's different names for the moms. Like, okay. you're a basic mom. I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to have to Google this, too. Um, Vicky Robles says, when are the supplies coming in for the rest of us to start Snow Village? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Um, we have all the, everything in stock. Um, so you would just buy it by the piecemeal. If we're out of any of the colors, they would be in stock any day. We're waiting on eggshell to come back in. And we do have some thread packs from Priscilla and Chelsea that are new. They're classic color works. We should be able to make more of those today or tomorrow. Um, so we have those also, and we're working on um, something else with them. So uh, thanks guys for watching, and I hope that we've inspired you to do something in your sewing room today, and I will see you next Wednesday. Oh, do you want to mention oh. about live stream on Friday? I don't know. No. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys.